Hi, Michelle. How you doing? I wanted to do the video critique this week because I I just think there's some nuance that that comes through in the in the in the live critique that just can't be duplicated in the you know in writing. So uh, hopefully you have a minute or two to take a look at this in, in its entirety. But anyways, I think this was a a good idea opening with a nice nice shot macro shot of of the um of the logo. So so good job. Um, I don't know necessarily if we have to open the, the presentation with the, the logo. I think just saying corporate identity as your, your opening page. And, I, and I'll talk about that in a second. I'm basically, I'm referring more to the background pages. If you read that one announcement um, up here, uh, this one right here, uh, this is required. And I, I'm just talking about here, I'm just talking about starting to think about how you're going to present your work in spreads and in the background pages and in spreads if you were to elect to, to, to print it. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Um, so I, I'm, I, I'm not real sure if, if this is the background page you intend on using in your actual presentation because we really haven't got that far yet. But hopefully you're addressing your background page in, in, in it looks like you are here. You've got your corporate identity guidelines or your style guides, style guide. Um, and that's great. That's a wonderful way to start the presentation because you're just getting kind of the nuts and bolts out of the way. And that, that's really cool. So good. You got this. You got this. You got your presentation. You got your images. Um, good job. Style guide. I mean, uh, logo sheet. Okay, and then this is, you know, I want to suggest that you, you, you give us a couple more presentations because you've got your, your style guide, okay? And then so we take a look, here's your style guide. And I also have week one open here so we can see what we're looking at here. So you've got your style guide, okay? Right, there's your style guide. But if we look at this after your style guide, you have a logo sheet. And then that's two. Then you have a business card and a sticker. And that's it. So that's only four pieces, really. When you think about it, technically, that's four, four pieces. So what I would like you to do is, is the following. Okay, let's start with the business card. Typically, this is called a stationary system, S-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-R-Y. And when you see it spelled with an E, it's specifically referring to um, this kind of a business card letterhead and envelope. Okay, so what you'll want to do is just take one page and say, biz, um, you know, stationary system, um, letterhead, business card, and envelope. And you can throw the label in there. I, I you know, I think it's optional, but it's a requirement. So, um you know, you can use that as the label for, you know, for all intents and purposes. You've got the, um, you've got the business card and the label. So all you need is a letterhead and a, and a um, envelope, number ten envelope. Okay, makes sense. And that would complete the presentation of the letterhead, business card, envelope. So then you would have that along with your style guide and your logo sheet. Okay, but we still need more pieces. So we can do a couple of things. You can do a DVD. Um, package some, some kind of brochure and a lot of this stuff I think like these two pages right here could probably be reformatted into a brochure a lot of this stuff could now I'm probably sounding like I'm throwing a lot of work at you or, or suggesting a lot of work for something that we're really trying to finalize here um, but I, my concern is that we just don't did you understand what I'm saying when I say we don't have enough um, representative pieces um, and unfortunately, when you do the stationery, it's business card, um, envelope, label, and uh, 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 letterhead, but that only counts as one piece. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do an, a, a let's do a vehicle sign, um, different than this one, because we're going to use that one as a sticker. Um, you know how they do vehicle wraps? You could mock up a vehicle wrap. Um, you could back up a website, up a homepage for a website, and you could put this logo on things like pens and T-shirts, um, where you have done so in your in your uh, style guide. But just give some more different examples. I think one of the really neat things to that to mock up is a, a vehicle wrap. Um, it's not too difficult to do, but that, that's a, that's another neat idea. So um, everything looks great. I, I really think the logo looks awesome, and I think that the the whole um, um, the pro progression of the visual solution, I think, is handled very well. Um, I just would like to see more representative pieces, okay? If you have any questions, Michelle, feel free to um, let me know. Okay, thanks very much.